So I'm here with my good friend Craig Cottle and we're out at the Ultimate Survival Challenge for two weeks. We're doing two different groups out here and one thing I really love about what Craig does is teaching knots. So what are we going to talk about here Craig? In this video we're going to go over knot nomenclature. So you need to know what the standing is, the working end, and all the different parts of a rope because you hear those terms when I do the knots on video. So we're going to make sure everybody knows what we're talking about so that when we're going through them they know hey i'm grabbing this end of the rope and not that end of the rope and what's the what's a loop versus a bite and all that kind of cool stuff awesome man we'll take it away if you want to invest some time into studying knots you'll probably watch some videos like you were watching this one and you'll hear guys talking about the working end the bitter end and any number of things and you don't know what they're talking about that's what i'm going to help you with today in essence what i want to do is take you through all the rope nomenclature that'll help you understand your knots better the first thing I want to point out to you is a cremantle sheath. Um, some ropes are a cremantle rope, much like paracord or this rope right here. And what you have is a sheath. The outer sheath on this one is orange. The inner portion of the rope is this white cordage. This is what's referred to as cremantle. If they were all entwined, it would be different. This is the cremantle and is a very useful rope for a multi-uses such as farming and survival and bushcraft. Moving on, what I want to make sure we understand is that if I'm going to tie a knot, in essence, if I want to utilize a portion of the rope to tie around a tree, a boat, a trap, or whatever it is I'm going to set up, that's the working end of the rope, the portion that I'm actually utilizing to tie the knot. The rest of the rope that I'm utilizing is the standing end. That's the rest of this stuff. That's the part that I'm not actually utilizing, but may be attached to whatever it is that I'm working with. Beyond that, we can have a loop. A loop is a portion where you take a portion of the standing end, wrap it onto the working end. That is a loop. If you bring the two together where they're not crossing over, but just simply touching, that is a bite. And the other portion that I want to make sure that we understand is that if you take it and double it twice, in essence what you have is an elbow. Those are the pieces and parts of a rope that are going to help you tremendously understand what it is that everybody's talking about when they're discussing rope. That was a great video, man. Thanks, appreciate so, it. So anything else you wanted to share with the guys? Yeah, absolutely. Just be aware that my approach to it is the bushcraft, outdoorsman, camping type environment, maybe even a farming environment. So those seamans, those that utilize it in a naval capacity are gonna have different verbiage sometimes. So you just need to be aware of that. That's cool. So you've got a lot of other videos about knots. We up do. online yeah, on your channel tell the guys how to get there nature reliance school is our channel on youtube as well as naturereliance.org is our website so check it out we've got all kinds of good information on the youtube channel and the blog and all that good stuff. so you do a lot of training tell the guys how to find your training schedule to learn more how they can get with you and get some other skill thanks for asking naturereliance.org again is the website just go to the top where it says calendar and you'll see all the things that we're doing you can follow us on the facebook page as well because we are announcing stuff of that nature there all the time cool. really appreciate it bro absolutely thank you david for your convenience i've placed links to craig's youtube channel not videos and website in the video description don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and the Ultimate Survival Tip Show on Carbon TV. For more tips, reviews, and to get your free subscription to our survival emag, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. Okay, this is David. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. So I want to say if you're interested in attending our next Ultimate Survival Challenge Level 1, click the link over there or in the video description to learn more. So when I conceived the Ultimate Survival Challenge over three years ago, I designed it for folks like you and me who have limited time and money but want the most comprehensive survival training in the shortest amount of time possible. So in just three days you'll be trained using primitive, hybrid and modern survival techniques and gear and once you're trained you'll get to test yourself through a gauntlet of challenges that reinforce everything that you learn and you'll have a chance to win a boss tricked out msk1 survival knife and we're going to give away a ton of other gear during the training but best of all the ultimate survival challenge is a fun encouraging and family friendly event designed for guys and gals of any skill level ages 12 and up okay guys that's it thanks for watching i hope to see you and hang out at the next ultimate survival challenge